and former Telto employee is suing the company according to the article on Polygon. The ex-employee is suing Telto, the studio that fired over 200 people in one day last Friday for violating labor laws of the California books and nationwide. This is what the article had to say. The complaint filed Monday in federal court in San Francisco is a class action lawsuit submitted by Fernie Roberts on behalf of himself and his fellow laid off workers. In the complaint, Roberts says Telto, which is based in the San Francisco sub sub sorry if I'm butchering everything by the way, English is not my first language of San Rafael, California, let go of the employees without cause and without providing them with advance written notice as required by the Warren Act. The Federal Worker Adjustment and Restraining Notification Act, which became law in 1988, stipulates that most businesses with at least 100 full-time workers must notify employees 60 days in advance of any planned closings or mass layoffs. The act defines a mass layoff as a reduction of 50 or more employees within a 30-day period, if the total comprises at least one-third of the company's workforce, or any layoff of 500 or more workers. California's state-level version of the Warren Act, which took effect in 2003, has more stringent requirements for businesses. It lowers the company's size thresholds to 75 full or part-time workers, and a applies to any reduction of at least 50 employees. Both the state and the federal laws require advance notice of 60 days. Robert's complaint says that the total layoffs at Telto amounts to approximately 275 employees. The figure appears to include the layoffs that occurred September 21, which media reports packed at about 250 individuals, as well as the skeleton crew of 25 that remains at the studio as it winds down operations. Telto terminated the employees without providing any severance. According to the complaint, the laid-off individuals are reportedly receiving health benefits until the end of the month. Under the WARN Act, businesses that undertake planned closings or mass layoffs with fewer than 60 days advance notice are subject to significant financial penalties. Rather than pay fines, a company must give affected employees back pay and benefits for each day of violation. Robert's complaint says that Telto gave no advance notice of the cuts, which means Telto would have to give each of the 275 employees salary and benefits for a full 60 days following their termination, if the plaintiffs win the lawsuit. The plaintiffs are requesting a jury trial and are seeking to win the aforementioned compensation for the late of employees. An amount equal to the wages and benefits that the workers will receive if their employment continue for 60 days after their termination, plus interest, in accordance with the federal and California versions of the Warren Act. Delta may be able to fight the lawsuit on the basis of the Funeral Warren Act, but it will likely have a tougher time defending its actions according to the California version of the law, reports Game Daily. The federal law offers some exceptions for businesses situations in which a company would be exempt from the 60-day advance notice provision. The exemptions include businesses' circumstances that were not reasonably foreseeable. Variety reported Monday that Telto was working to secure a round of financings, but that was the last possible backer, which may have been Lionsgate. Multiple sources told Variety pulled out, forcing the studio to initiate shutdown plans and lay off most of the team. Game Daily spoke with the attorney Richard de Hoog, who says that in the light of Variety's reporting, Telto may be able to cite the Warren Act. Business circumstances exception in the defense. However, noted Hoog that the California counterpart of the Warren Act does not future any such clause. The fact that California did not bring over the precarious compliance position with the state, Hoog told Game Daily. What a mess! So in short to say, the complaint is about not giving the employees a warning of what was about to happen in advance, and that the fired employees should at least get some money from Telltale and benefits for all the 275 people for a full 60 days following their termination from the company. And the labor laws put Telltale in a certain position. Honestly, if you ask me, I don't know what to say about this, except that I hope that the fired employees will find new jobs to support their families and pay their 
taxes. But another question that rises from this is what will happen to the final season of The Walking Dead? I can't honestly see the last episodes of the final season see the daylight if this continues. And we don't know how this will affect potential partners that are interested in seeing the final season to the very end. And that is all I can say about it right now. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you have a fun day or night wherever you are. It happened to Lee and it'll happen to you. Don't ever say his name.